I've tried to say hi guys about a trillion billion times and it seems like I can't speak any longer. I've forgotten how to make videos, um, which some of you are probably saying, I bet you have because you haven't made one for so long. Um, yes, where have I been? What's been going on? I've got so much to tell you guys. As you can see, I'm in a totally different place because if you haven't been following me on Twitter and Instagram and other social networking sites, you wouldn't know that the reason I haven't been around for the last month, three weeks, is because I've been moving house. I did mention it in my last video, but quite a lot of people still seem to not know. And I've even been getting tweets from people saying, I've heard you've left YouTube and like there's been someone saying that I've left or people, I don't know. But anyway, I haven't left YouTube. I haven't made a video for three weeks because so much has been going on. I can't even explain it to you. I've had a few kind of nasty like messages and stuff, but I decided to not make this video negative. I am 100% grateful that people are even bothered enough to ask me when I'm going to be making videos. That's much, much nicer really than people not caring. So I'm just going to take the positives from it and just think I can get everything back on track now. But honestly, for those of you that have been, you know, a little bit rude, if you'd have known what we've been going through as a family, like my family and me and Ricky and things over the past couple of months, you wouldn't be asking me. So let's just put a line under that. I'm really happy to be back and I've got lots and lots of new ideas. I'm so excited and I hope you like my new background. I don't know whether, like until I watch this video back, I don't know if it's gonna be too busy and stuff, so I'm sure you can let me know. So basically this video is just a quick update, where have I been, and something really exciting that I want to show you, or rather someone rather exciting. So obviously, as I said, we've been moving house and we're just about getting settled in now. We moved in about three weeks ago. Loads of you, when we moved out last year, asked if I'd be doing like room tour or house tour and things. And I just never was able to due to like where we lived and stuff. And I never really felt like we totally made it our own because we knew that we wouldn't be there for that long. It was kind of just our little starter place, if that makes sense. But now we're here, I really am looking forward to showing you some of the things. It, um, in my house so it might take a little while longer but I'm working on some posts, blog posts and some videos about um, like interior design and stuff and about how I've decorated so far so that should be up very soon but I'm sure the reason that you've come to watch this video is to hear about my new baby. I'm sure you've worked out by now if you've been following me on Instagram and Twitter that it's not a real baby. I haven't, that's not why I've been away. And this, everybody, I want you to say hello to Miley. And I haven't said her name in any tweets or anything yet because I wanted to like show you her in the video. And yeah, this is Miley. She's a 10 week old Bichon Frise and we've had her for about two weeks now. And <laughs> she is absolutely amazing. Um, lots of you have tweeted asking kind of what breed she is and stuff. So she's a Bichon Frise. Um, and if you watch some of my really, really old videos, you'll see my dog Maddie, who's a Bichon Frise, who's like my mum's dog. So she doesn't live with us, unfortunately, but she's seven now. So yeah, we definitely want it. Am I poking you in the eye? Sorry, Bobby. Um, we definitely wanted to get a Bichon because they're just amazing. They don't mold, and I'm slightly allergic to dogs, so she's really good for me because she doesn't make me sneeze or anything like that. She's definitely a mummy's girl. She doesn't really like to leave my side very much, but I'll just try and show you her quickly. So yeah, this is what she looks like. She's grown so much in the last two weeks, and she's got little, like, kind of peachy apricot ears, which Bichons can have when they're puppies. Um, but they'll fade away and she'll like become white I think um, but I really like her little ears and she's got like little peachy paws and things and she's just such a good girl but definitely getting a puppy has been something we've wanted for a long long time because me and Ricky have been together nearly six years now so it's definitely not a decision to like jump into lightly they're a lot of work and she looks very cute in this video but I tell you she can be very mischievous she has me up a couple of times in the night to either go to the toilet. She likes to eat my hair, as you can tell. So that's one thing. She likes to sleep on my head, um, which isn't always a good thing, is it, baby? No. Um, yeah, she likes to sleep on my head, which that's going to have to stop. And um, she's just, yeah, puppies are a handful. They bite and scratch and want to play all the time. You definitely only get a puppy if you've got enough time to spend with them you really need to kind of teach them rights and wrongs very from a very early age otherwise you're just gonna have a nightmare on your hands um 
she's a bit of an escape artist we've only been able to leave her a couple of times so far and both times she's escaped through things we thought she would never be able to escape from like barricaded stairs and everything but she's still escaped um, I'm going to put her down here because she's getting tired I think. She's also already had a vet trip apart from her two like vaccinations which she's already had in her microchip. She's actually spent a night in the vets because the breeder, I wouldn't call her a breeder but the lady we bought her from was feeding the puppies on this kind of really low quality dog food, not even puppy food. Um, after we got her home after a few days she was quite ill so she had to spend a night in the vets due to like um, an upset stomach which can lead to dehydration and it can be really dangerous in puppies and for anyone that owns a pet, a dog, a cat, whatever and you have insurance you will know that even if you insure them the day you get them they um, aren't insured for a certain amount of days so again you really need to think about like the money, money side of things because vets aren't free like the NHS in the UK they cost a lot of money especially to stay in overnight and to stay in over the Easter bank holiday weekend that was when she got ill as well so it was like double the price um so yeah there are definitely things to talk about I don't know why this video has turned into like tips and advice on getting a new puppy but it kind of has um I'm sure this video has been plenty <laughs> well I'm sure this video has been like plenty long enough I just literally wanted to say hi I'm back I'm gonna be making videos please request any that you want because I'm really gonna try so hard to work on them but if I ever do go away for a little while, just, you know, tweet me, message me, I'm still around. It's just things get busy and hectic like it does in everybody's lives. But I'm definitely going to try and be around more. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for sticking by me, supporting me, asking me when I'm going to be back. Um, I'm so excited to be back. Everything's getting back to normal. And yeah, thank you for watching everyone and I'll speak to you later. Bye. So what, Baba? Yeah. Can we go to sleep? Tired. Should we go get some ding dings? Ooh, you want some ding dings? Bye, everybody. I 